There's just a multiple of facets that make me who I am today. Yeah, well, as a kid, I had dreams to do different things like any kid, but I mean, it was really anything from like, I wanted to be a professional baseball player or I wanted to be a fireman. We're on the way! Don't look a block! He's had a really good run! But really, as I got older and you really started to settle in of like the accomplishments of what we did with DC and what I've done with my race career and, and how far all these things have gone, it really is much further than any sort of dream that I even had. I've been driven since I was a kid for not necessarily success, I would say for accomplishment. When I set out to do something, I really want to succeed at it. That goes from like a very small art project I may want to do all the way through to a major business that for some reason I just want to see whatever idea I have through and do it the best that I possibly can. Hey, Rob. Bring the camera for a second. Oh, something might be funny to like. Anything from a business adventure to even a social media post, it's how can, how can we be creative, do things in a different way, but also show a love for life and a love for having fun. Ken Block is so many things. He's just multifaceted in that he's a race car driver, he's a marketing genius, he's a businessman, and he puts it all into one focused goal, to not be boring, do cool stuff. It's cool to see that. I grew up in a family with a dad that loved baseball, so I've been to hundreds of Dodgers games. I just had other interests. I didn't like team sports as much. So I, I really liked skateboarding and riding dirt bikes. And eventually got into snowboarding. To me, the creativity in those sports, everything from what you did on the snowboard to even the art and music and culture around them just was much more appealing to me than a stick and ball sport. I genuinely appreciated like the technology and the design and the design of not only the, like the boots and the gear and the helmets, but even the really subtle things that even came from the industry like sunglasses. And so as I, as I got older, especially in high school, I got into classes where I could actually start creating things myself. I mean, I can remember just trying to use like paint pens on, on sweatshirts, but it just sucked. <laughs> I had started, you know, a small business to get, you know, to make apparel for skateboarding and uh, had my business partner, Damon. You know, I was in a graphics class at Palomar College. I sat next to Damon in an algebra class. We both just had similar interests in graphic arts to actual apparel design. You know, we started with a small brand called 8-Ball. We were just trying to make something that we thought kids that were in skateboarding consumers would like. We didn't know anything about trademark laws. We found out after a short time, that, hey, somebody actually owned this trademark. Eventually we started DC because we saw the opportunity to make a better skateboard shoe. And we had two great pros, Danny Wayne and Colin McKay, along with Rob Deerdick and Josh Kalis that really took off. Over time, we just were able to really grow DC from something, you know, quite small to, you know, a very big worldwide sold brand. 
from nothing to, you know, 150 million in sales when we sold it. That was just a success story for all the hard work that we put into it. First time I got in a race car, I absolutely loved it, and it was, it was everything I dreamed about as a kid, you know, driving for the first time. It was incredible, and I was like, oh, okay, when do I get back in the car next? Like, I was hooked. It's just incredible to get into a high-powered, great handling race car and race it down a road where somebody blocks it off the beginning and end and just says, go as fast as you can from point A to point B. And here's these instructions as to what every corner is and every straightaway. And drive as flat out to these notes and to the road that you possibly can. I raced in Rally America, which is a series that I paid as a privateer to go race. Ended up getting Rookie of the Year, and at the end of that year, I made the decision to keep racing. And then every year forward, I just kept getting better and better. Over time, I, I really went from being a guy that sat in an office every day doing work to being a guy that trained to try and be a champion. What an unreal battle for position on the first lap, and they're fighting for the post up. He is pounding on the back bumper of Ken Block, and now he works his way past. Oh, and somehow, oh, and more wide. Right. Ken Block wins. Wait for the greens to go when we're underway. Ken Block wins in Charlotte. And that was a signature slide. That was not a mistake in that final corner. He is all about the show. Well, the story behind this wall is, uh, like it says right here, to strive to win at any cost with zero mechanical sympathy or regard to one's well-being. The whole idea is to do the best that you can, to try and win. And sometimes, you know, accidents happen, you know, collisions happen in rally cross. For me to do this to a, a roof vent means I had to be on my roof. No. The ain't care part of it is like I care more about the goal than the piece of equipment. We celebrate this stuff. This is all about trying as hard as you can and not having mechanical sympathy because sometimes mechanical sympathy can get in your way. This year we're really focusing. This is a, a big, very important year for me in my career. Switching over to the FIA World Rallycross Championship for me is a a big step. I'm going to be racing a bigger field of guys and you're racing under the biggest organization in the world for motorsports, the FIA. To be able to, to have you know an FIA world title would just be huge. This is a big mechanical extension of yourself that's all wrapped around you that 650 horsepower zero to 60 in less than two seconds i mean it's incredible what this car could do and it's something that i've loved since the first time i got into a race car and it still has the same sort of draw on me today as it did years ago
feeling of the accomplishment, I mean, it, it's something that I have everywhere in my life, and racing is just one more extension of that. I mean, you know, when I do well at a race, even if I don't win, as long as I've performed well and done the best job that I can, I feel very good about that. I really like doing what I like to do. All right, Ken, remember you're gonna tension the chain by letting it coming off the clutch. Ride the clutch a little bit, then we're gonna go into it, okay? Gymkhana series has been in the world of, of marketing and pop culture. It's something for me that takes what I love to do with a race car and puts it into sort of a marketing story that is really genuine. And then to have the success that we've had at this point, you know, uh, seven videos with over 350 million views, it's something that I'm very, very proud of. car career that I really truly enjoy but at the same time too there's a big part of this that happens to be a very creative side and a very creative outlet for me at a glance the car is very simple it's just black that's actually a very very bright reflective the right application of color or light it really pops we do something, I, I say, I don't know how we're going to do better than this. given the same opportunity basically to live in this world and how do we take the talents that we have and go out and enjoy ourselves. Okay, come on. Good. Okay, cross. You know, I, I really believe in hard work. I, I believe in hard work, positivity, helping people, working hard yourself, that, that nobody's going to just give you anything. A lot of times you need to go out and, and find any and every avenue to try and be successful and never give up. Oh. Come on, Bill. always pushing that mindset of being creative and doing it in a positive way and doing it in a very fun way. simple legacy is I hope I just inspire other people in a positive way to really go out and live their dreams. Ultimately, what I really want is to win another race. That's all I care about. Looking at a rookie versus a two-time champion with 